Hi, it's me again. Are you ready for another uh, Hacks of the Vlog? If that's yes, today you will see um, how one entire week uh, goes in the office of Hacksoft. Uh, so enjoy the video and stay watching. Какво ми стана на този приятел? Тук се разпища апарата, тръгна на лети и хилико. Моя нам е Камен Котев и съм VP of Engineering в Hacksoft. I'm also a team lead and a senior developer. So each one of our teams has a dedicated team lead. That person is responsible for um, keeping all of the requirements to the client. Uh, that person is also responsible for uh, being a project manager, uh, being a uh, business analyst if, uh, if the client wants to, and also helping everyone do their tasks properly. My favorite part is probably talking to the client, understanding how their business works and um, being helpful as a business analyst to propose certain solutions to their issues. Well, well there are many steps, but in general we start the project by, by getting familiar with the domain of the client, with their business, um, finding out how can we be most useful to them, and then assembling a team, including that team lead, uh, to get the job done. We usually start working with a project management system like Trello to keep track of what we need to do and what we have done already. Uh, and we keep the communication on Slack every day with the client so that um, they know what we're doing and we know all the information that we need. Everyone at Hacksoft is proficient at what they're doing. Uh, everyone's eager to get to work and start improving the lives of, of our clients and their users. And I, I think it's, uh, it's a great privilege to work with those people. So no, it's, it's not a burden at all. Walking the extra mile. I think that's really important and it, uh, it's, uh, clients love it, which is great. We love to do it because we try to overachieve everything at everything that we do. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like it. Is there anything else you would like to tell us? Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you should like the video, you should subscribe, hit the bell, uh, and all that awesome stuff. Okay, that's all uh, I've got uh, to ask you today, so thank you very much. <laughs>my name is Denislav Pometkov. I work here at Hacksoft as a software developer. It's already been a, a year. For this year, I've learned a lot. I, I've met a lot of great people and I feel great about it. For me, it's uh, walk the extra mile because uh, when you're given something to do, like let's say a task, uh, there is always like a step further that you can always improve something, you can do something better and that really, motiva that really motivates me to do my work.
are you going for lunch? Where? Where are you going? To Campanella. What's that Campanella? It's a restaurant near us with a lunch menu. Pretty good, we like it. Have a great lunch. Thanks. We're going to Turkey. Turkey! 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 Ами едно здраве на всички! Здраве да си! Хай! 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 Tuesday, we had a lot of calls and we have a lot of tasks to do today. Well, let's say two things. Uh, the first thing is, top one thing is definitely the people and the team. Uh, because they define the culture of the company. And uh, the other thing is the feeling that we actually solve problems and uh, make the work better for our clients. I use my editor Vim daily. That's uh, probably the, the tool that I spend most, most of the time of the day in. And I use it for everything, note taking, programming, uh, yeah, everything. Probably the freedom and responsibility and the idea behind it that uh, if, you, if you take enough responsibility, you deserve enough freedom and you can use this freedom whatever way you want and you can still be productive. To eat some food. Where? <laughs> I don't know. Turkish uh, sofra. Most probably. Hello and welcome to the second episode of the third season of Hackcast. It's me, Ivo, with Rado. And the giveaway is going to be the latest and greatest dust keyboard, whatever the dust keyboard is. is it, 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 it. <laughs> Ще го правя пак. Стай, стай, стай. Това ще е окортинка, бра.
Sorry. Hi, Anna. Hi, Betty. How are you? I'm great, thank you. How are you? I'm also great. Well, I am very excited to be part of Hacksoft as every day I see how passionate my colleagues are about their work. So this itself makes me feel like I'm part of something valuable. So yeah, I'm excited. Well, I start by personally planning my monthly tasks. I try to estimate how much time will each task take me so I can see how many tasks actually fit my monthly schedule. Uh, Mid-month I try to see if I'm um, doing everything accordingly to plan because sometimes there is new tasks that pop up and are more important so it's like my pit stop where I drop off the lowest priorities or I change priority levels. Then at the end of the month I try to see if every task is actually done and how much time it took me and this whole thing helps me with my uh, weekly planning and uh, my priori prioritization. And uh, yeah, with the team we have uh, every morning uh, we share our to-dos, so it's kind of also a check with the team where we are at and if somebody needs help with something. To be honest with you, waking up on time <laughs> because I really love sleeping, but other than that I think of challenges more uh, like of opportunities, so I wouldn't say that there is something that challenges me most. I try to transfer these challenges to learning opportunities or to experimenting opportunities so yeah that's my one of my big motivators hello it's uh snowing in March, <laughs> like we're past the middle of March and it's snowing. And yesterday it was... Um, like six, 16 degrees centigrade. Absolutely. Like, and it's sunny and great spring weather. The weather is crazy. Yeah. Hey Daddy, uh, so far so good. Uh, well, yeah, basically as Hacksoft we are uh, a software development company and what we're doing is end-to-end -end software development. And what does this mean? We go at length in the first episode of our Hackcast podcast, uh, season three. So I recommend uh, to anyone who's interested to listen to this. But basically we are doing end-to-end -end software development, taking care of our clients and their software needs. Uh, right now, as of March 2023, we are officially 30, like 3-0, which is a big uh, jump for us because we were usually gravitating around between 15 and 20 people, but right now we're 30 and we are still uh, actively recruiting new folks to join us. So uh, our, our policy is basically uh, work from anywhere, it's hybrid. We're still only recruiting within Bulgaria, but it's, it's a hybrid approach. So if you want to work from the office, you work from the office. If you want to work from home, you can work from home. And uh, this actually, this is the effect from the pandemic because before the pandemic, we were uh, not as much and we were mostly working from the office. But after the pandemic, we figured out that we can actually become a uh, hybrid company where you can work from the office or work from home without uh, this having having an, like a negative effect on uh, on the work that we do. And personally, for me, uh, like I try to do two to three days from the office and two to three days from home, depending on the type of work I need to do. If I have quite a lot of 
communication with uh, folks from the company, then I come to the office. But if, for example, I need to do some deep work, I just stay at home because I can more easily focus and get more things done. So this is for, for everyone is different. So then that's why we give the opportunity to work from wherever is suitable for you. That's great. Yeah, um, yeah for awesome. sure. For sure, yeah. It's, e, as long as you have the ability to pick, like you can make a choice working from the office or working from home. And as long as you kind of lean towards our way of working, uh, it's going to be okay. I think it's important to, to give people this uh, choice because so Bulgaria is not that big. Like in Sofia, there are commute times above 30 minutes. But if you have to commute like 40 minutes every day to the office and back uh, from the office, and especially if you have kids, it's really hard. So it's important to have the ability to be able to work from home. That's it. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much, Teddy. I think the thing that I like the most is the balance between freedom and responsibility and as much as we like to uh, have the get shit done attitudes in each and every one of, of the team, we also know how to relax and chill before the next big challenge. So I think the work-life balance that we have is the thing that I like the most. That's great. Good Thank points. You. Good points, mate. Well, uh, personally, for me, uh, the thing that I like most about our company culture uh, is the take responsibility for your work and actions mindset that everyone has. Uh, I think it's uh, very important uh, to treat your job not just as a source of income, but as something you actually find purpose in. I think for me it's just by doing my day-to-day -day job because uh, every day is a challenge of its own and I think I learn every day, uh, I think I learn new things every single day and the other thing is that I learn from my colleagues because we share knowledge within our company so yeah I think this is how I level up my skills every day. Yeah I, actually mine's uh, quite similar, I think like the best but maybe not the easiest way is to actually learn from your colleagues and peers. Uh, it's very important to sometimes put your ego aside and just uh, uh, understand that uh, you can always learn something from somebody else. So software development is hard and actually this challenge is what keeps me motivated to come to work every day. Well, uh, the funny thing about me is that uh, when I come to work, I don't feel like I'm actually working, you know. Like when you're having fun, you know, the nine to five doesn't feel like a nine to five at all. It's just, yeah, there are, like Vinci said, there are uh, a lot of challenges that we have to tackle on a daily basis. You know, there are a lot of problems we have to solve, but the, the, the challenges make it even more fun. So, yeah. The thing that I prefer the most is the hybrid model and the allowance to choose whether you work from your home, from your office or whatever you like. So I think the freedom to choose is the best thing, but at least for me, I think it's home office because I've, I don't know, um, set up a more comfortable environment for my preferences, but yeah, uh, coming sometimes to the office is always a great thing because you see your colleagues, you have a chat and everything, so yeah. Well, I, I like the hybrid model, like if I stay too many uh, days at home, I kind of want to go to the office, If uh, but at the same time I'm a bit too lazy to come to the office every day, so like, uh, I like to have the uh, freedom to choose, so yeah. Okay, 
That's all. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. I'm Ivaio Botvarov, the CTO of Hacksoft. Sure, we are doing an end-to-end -end software development, meaning that we are starting from the very beginning, planning, doing a discovery phase throughout the whole process of software development, and we finish with deploying on stable infrastructure and, of course, maintaining it. Well, the way we distribute and store knowledge, so basically each team in Hacksoft is a proxy to the knowledge of the entire company. Uh, well, I have two more bugs to fix and a release to make, so Kind of excited. <laughs> Thank you. Bruh. This will go. This will go. Gown. Did you enjoy it? If that's yes, please give us a thumb and subscribe to the channel. Bye!